Hello everyone, welcome to Spectrum Classes. This is our another lab activity video and in this video we are going to discuss about the next experiment and the aim of that experiment is determination of total hardness in given water sample by complexometric titration method. So in this video we are hello everyone welcome to spectrum classes. Today this is our another lab activity video and in this video we are going to discuss about the next experiment which is a volumetric titration and uh, the aim of the experiment is determination of total hardness in given water sample by EDTA or complexometric titration method. So in this video we are going to first discuss about the chemicals used, their working pH range and what are their structures, their IUPAC name and we will also see the lab activity how we perform the experiment in the laboratory and the color changes at the end point which indicator we are going to use that we will simultaneously discuss and at the end of this video we are going to discuss some important viva questions related to this experiment. So let's start with the indicator which is known as eriochrome black tea. The structure of the eriochrome black tea is shown over here and its IUPAC name is sodium 1, 1 hydroxy, 2 nephthyl azo, 6 nitro, 2 nephthol, 4 sulfonate. This is commonly named as eriochrome black tea and sometimes it is also termed as EBT indicator in common uh, laboratory language. So here is the azo word. This azo stands for this N double bond N and when this N double bond N is present in the conjugation those compounds are known as azo dyes and they show intense color to the compound. Ligand can also be written in this form just for the sake of simplicity. This is a symbolic representation. So here sodium plus means this sodium plus and rest of the molecule is having one minus charge. So rest of the molecule and this IN is stands for indicator. So rest of the indicator is having minus charge so plus minus this is a neutral molecule okay and what th these two h2 represents these h2 are these acidic hydrogens okay so in the solution these hydrogens can be detached from this molecule so these acidic hydrogens are represented over here in addition to this indicator so this is how one can understand now the how it is going to react with the compound this indicator is used as an internal indicator so in the working solution we add two to three drops of this indicator to the working solution this is especially used in the complexometric titration so the reactions involved in this experiment here we are having hard water which is having calcium and magnesium ions dissolved in it. To this solution we are adding the basic buffer solution. Ba why basic? Because the basic range of pH and here the buffer solution which we have used is ammonia buffer and its pH range is 9 to 10. The deprotonation of this eriochrome black T protons will take place in this pH range. That is why we need to maintain the basic pH range. And why buffer? Because buffer are the solutions which register the change in the pH on addition of acid or base. So this eriochrome black tea attached with the calcium and magnesium ions present in the water sample and that gives the complex calcium and magnesium with this EBT. These complexes are unstable complexes and the color change occurs here when both the protons are removed from this structure is wine red. So here we are having wine red color of the solution that I will show you in the activity. Here is the experimental procedure which we have already discussed. So this is our water sample having magnesium and calcium ions. We have taken 20 ml of this and to this solution 1 ml of basic 
ammonia buffer is added to maintain the ph of 9 to 10 so ammonia buffer is prepared by using nh4oh solution this is you can say liquid ammonia or ammonia solution okay and this is nh4cl salt to this solution we have added 2 to 3 drops of ereochrome black tea indicator which form complex with these calcium and magnesium ions present in this and that uh, ebt on complexation with these uh, ions shows wine red color and this final working solution is titrated against m by 100 m stands for molarity m by 100 edta solution what is called edta so that we are going to discuss over here here is the structure of edta and its name disodium salt of ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid i'll just tell you how to remember this okay and how one can understand this structure so you just first leave disodium okay first you come to here ethyl ethyl eth stands for two carbon atoms okay so here are the two carbon atoms so these two ethyl di di stands for two di stands for two two amine amine stands for nh2 groups so nh2 instead of nh2 we are having n with two single bonds tetra tetra stands for four acetic acid what is your the formula of acetic acid ch3cooh here just to create one vacancy one h is removed so here we are having ethylene this is our ethylene di stands for two amine amine only n of amine tetra tetra stands for four four acetic acid so acetic acid is ch3cooh so in here one h is removed just to complete the four uh, single bonds of carbon right so in this way you can understand the structure of ethylene diamine tetra acetic acid here also we are having h h and h for edda but if we are writing disodium salt it di stands for two sodiums so two h are replaced by the sodium atom so here one is sodium another sodium right so this is how ethyl di sodium salt of ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid and this is the structure and this is the formula how you can remember this now important thing is that why not why we have taken di sodium salt of ethylene diamine rather taking edta because edta is insoluble in water or is sparingly soluble however this disodium salt of edta is soluble in water that i will show you in the lab activity right and the reactions involved in this complexometry titration are up to this we have already discussed to this solution we have added the edta m by 100 edta solution so that we are adding to this working solution and this ebt is removed or released and to this this edta is going to attach so here you can see calcium edta or magnesium edta complex is formed which is colorless and it is stable this is unstable but this is is very stable and this is formed in the ph range 9 to 10 here in this way this ebt is released this ebt has blue color the important questions that can be asked in the viva so hardness is caused by the presence of soluble calcium and magnesium salts in water sample that is that cause hardness to the water does calcium carbonate salt causes hardness to water this is very important actually since as we know calcium and magnesium carbonates and bicarbonates causes hardness but here calcium carbonate is insoluble in water so it doesn't Uh, cause any kind of hardness rather instead of this calcium carbonate calcium bicarbonate causes the hardness to the water solution because that is soluble so here i have written no due to its insolubility in water next question is what do you understand by temporary and permanent hardness so here temporary hardness that can be removed simply by boiling permanent hardness that cannot be removed by boiling for this special methods are used to remove permanent hardness for example ion exchange method or zeolite zeolite method or edta method that we have already discussed in several other videos 
right uh, draw the structure of ed to that we have already discussed how to draw the ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid why basic buffer is used or what is the need to maintain the ph 9 to 10 since here uh, in some textbooks ph is 6 to 6.3 is written and at this moment it is having h2 sodium h2 both the oh groups are protonated at this moment in the ph range 6.2 or 6.3 one proton is deprotonated okay so we will have hydrogen 1 h is still there and 2 minus it is of blue color right and here this is the second proton of the oh group is again replaced in this ph range 9 to 10 that is 11.6 something is quoted so this is wine red in color okay i hope you like this video you understand the concept if you are new to this channel please subscribe my channel and give me a thumbs up thank you all